RPD. Do you know Resident, what that stands for? Resident Police Department. No, Raccoon City Police Department. Oh, I knew it was Police Department. It's not called Resident Evil in uh, Japan, however, is it? It's no, called it's called Bio Biohazard. Yeah, Biohazard. It's a bit odd. Yeah. I think it's because by I think the reason it got Resident Evil here is because Biohazard was already a registered trademark when they made it. Yeah. It's an also say feature. Yeah, English English subtitles on. That's what we want. That's what we want. We're listening to it through a TV, although we're not really listening to it, but that'll do. That'll do. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Leon or Claire? Leon. All right. Always Leon. Yeah. Two stories. Uh. Normal, aim assist, or hard. Let's go normal. Standard. Cool. Mm hmm. Let's see what the hype is about. Leon's the best character, everyone knows that. We all know what Resident Evil 2 is, I'm not even going to try and introduce it. It's, it's Resident Evil, but the second one. Yes, it is. That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> was last Friday. Uh, yeah, burger. That looks really nice, though. I like burgers. That looks grim, though. Mm. Kind of, I guess. Looks grim. <laughs> Just going to drop the volume down a bit. Because I'm chewing that burger. You don't want to hear that, do you? Not really. Uh, that was, yeah. That was really, really loud. Sorry, guys. But <laughs> it should be okay now. Oops. She looks like a corpse, but like a walking corpse. Nah. It's a bit ash. He's making light of the fact that he saw a zombie and now they're going to die as a result. Who's making light? He hasn't seen a zombie. He just said she's walking around like a walking corpse. Oh, I thought he just meant like she was grim to look at. No, look. If you freeze up, they'll sink your teeth in. I don't... Oh, he lost his radio. I don't think I've played this one. I don't think you've played any of them. I played that one where that bat attacks you at the beginning. In the cafe. That's... Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. I couldn't get past... Look where you're going. Mm -hmm. Like, even if that wasn't a zombie. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Wait, was that Resident Evil or was that Silent Hill? Oh, I don't know. I think it was Resident Evil. God, the PlayStation's getting really angry. It is really angry. Isn't it? God, it's like a plane taking off. Certain games do this What's to wrong it. wrong with it? It's working hard for this one. For some reason it's this and Pez. I don't know why it's those two games, but it just makes it go mad. Makes me worry that it's just going to explode. Oh no, he hit someone. He's like, oh, you dead, bro? At least he stopped. Well, yeah, you would if you killed someone. Well, not everyone does. That's called a hit and run. Yeah, but most people don't do hit and runs. Oh, look, she's fine. Well. She's fine. He's think, not, though. <laughs> I think it got her. And then it got him. Oh, someone yeah, else is driving. Oh, for a zombie, he's good at driving. I don't think he's a zombie. Oh. I think that's the main man. What? I thought he was in a lorry a second ago. It's a different person. It's a very different person. <laughs> you don't even see Leon knocking a zombie over and then getting killed by it. No. Except at this point, he's still kind of a rookie. Do you think it looks like him? Yeah. What do you mean it is him? I don't know, because in my head, he's he looks like what he does in the... Uh, in RE4. In the Damnation film. Yeah, in RE4. <laughs> like, I suppose he's younger in this one. That's peculiar. Huh, that's peculiar. <laughs> no one's <laughs> ever said that seriously. <laughs> no one sees what Odd and goes, that's peculiar. <laughs> that's because it's an Eddie Murphy joke. <laughs> yeah, it is now. This is like the beginning, actually, mm. of um, that zombie film, what's it called? You know, where he's telling you all the different stages of surviving. Yeah. What's it called with Woody Harrelson? What's it called? Oh, uh. Ah, how annoying is that? Thingy, yeah. You know where they got the theme? Zombieland. Part? Yeah. Because this is exactly what happens, isn't it? He stops falling petrol or something, yeah. and then... So, obviously, I have no combat controls, which means this is cutscene world. Hello, anybody here? This is also before Resident Evil story yeah. got really stupid, so these Herb are the good ones. ice cream? Yeah. Well, you know what herbs are? Herbs. 
Herbs are the healing items in this. Oh my god. You find herbs and you make health. That's, that's hilarious. So it's herb flavoured ice cream. I've got them lighters. Run? Why would you tell me that now? No, it's not going to give you run without a fight mechanic, surely. That looks like a zombie eating someone, Scott. Watch out. It does, doesn't it? Look at all those booze in the fridges. Could also be a man crying. Oh no, he looks like he's been bit in the neck. Okay. And he's going, don't go in there. Oh, he's telling them it's in there. What are you telling me for? So we can find Why it. are you going in there? Because I'm a cop. NYPD, that's what they always say. Except he's RCPD. That doesn't sound as good, though. Raccoon City PD. Why would you call RPD? you City Raccoon City? Some places are called Raccoon. Nothing. Are there? I don't know. It's a fake America. Oh, look. Don't talk to us. Don't take your eyes off it. Oh, no. Oh. That was kind of his own fault. Right, would that happen? <laughs> what, if you got bit like that? Would it, like, tear... Would it, would it be that stringy? <laughs> I have no idea. It might be. The metal muscles in your neck aren't, like, thick, are they? Because if you notice that in zombie horror, it's always... People are always so stringy. Yeah. Mind, I've never, like, butchered an animal that's newly dead. I think you know I, I mean? killed them. You just buy like a steak in the shop. It's not stringy, is it? No. But it probably was when they were chopping it up. Yeah, maybe. I don't really know. I'm not a farmer. Or a well, anyway, I. Uh, I just I, look I at won't. it and I think that's what makes me feel sick. He took five shots to the head to kill though. Maybe four, but I used five. I suppose all you have to destroy the brain, and a gunshot that would kill a person to the brain doesn't destroy it, does it? No. So it does make sense. It would take a bit of effort. I have a key. A well-worn key, in fact. <laughs> Escape from the store? Why? Why can't we just walk out? Why can't I just walk oh, out? Oh, look, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. <laughs> key to the what? gas station storage room. Do you think he would be fine after that, though? Not sure. Uh, depends who you are, I guess. That is such a cool stance, isn't it? It is. It's even better with a knife. Yeah. Okay. This is a stop. Oh, he's not dead. Excuse he me, sir. Uh, Don't let him bite you. I'm not... Oh, he bit me. Oh, no. No, wait there. Everyone who gets bitten in this dies of it. Are we not going to die of it now, then? Stand still. I'm getting out of here. We're not, I bet we're not fine now. <laughs> no, probably not. I've got, got no bullets, though. I was though. just going to say, you've got no bullets there, Scott. Watch out. I've got some ties there. God, I haven't seen ties on the shelves for ages. Does it even exist anymore? Can I... No. Nope. <laughs> Have you seen Tizer recently? Not for a long time. I'm not sure it even exists anymore. How do I... Maybe we go out the way we came. But I got the key. I guess I'll go back this way then. Yeah. I wonder if he always dies on your last bullet regardless. Um, I would say so, because what are you going to do if you don't... Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe though, you just have to be good with it. With it's it used... And... Ah. What?! What happened there? Uh, it, the, when I turned the key, uh, it made the the controller made the noise. That was weird. Okay. Why did that happen? Oh, oh now he's a zombie. Oh, there's Balls. another one. There's loads of them. I think you just have to run, do you? Yeah. Right, do you always get bitten at that point? Looks like it. Oh, caution. If he gets close enough, oh, it's a bite. Hands coming. Need to go. I don't know where we came in, though, do you? Oh, great, Dad. Oh, that's blocked. Ah! It's alright, got away. Did you? Yeah. Come on, Leon. Don't Claire. go in there. Don't go it's Claire, she's fine. We don't have any bullets I didn't left. have a bullet, Leon. We don't have any bullets left. That's a, that's a lie. Maybe he saved one. Oh, uh, that's his uh, cutscene bullets. Oh, yeah, they don't count. Cutscene guns have infinite ammo. In we fairness, know. that's fine. Do you know what I mean? Because if you were rubbish and you stole your bullets and then the cutscene just couldn't happen because you didn't have any bullets. That would actually be really cool if a game could do no, it well. No, it wouldn't. It would. be ridiculous. Like if the cutscenes changed depending on how many bullets you had. What? So he just went, get down. Tick, tick, tick. No, oh, that, no. Yeah. She gets eaten. And then, he has to, and then he has to do like flying punch and knock the thing back and go, come on. And then they run as the zombie sort of stumbles up. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be really and cool. And it cost you some health because you hit your hand. Imagine how stressful that would be, though, if you knew it happened. And, like, obviously they do... Games do that anyway because it's, like... Um, 
you just get that into that situation in the game when you have no bullets and then you can't yeah. shoot an enemy. Yeah. But if it was like integrated into cutscenes, it would make it really like realistic. Oh, she's looking for a brother. He's a crop. I wonder if that's Chris. Is that Chris? Yeah. Oh, so if we <laughs> picked to play as her, would Leon have turned up? Uh, I don't actually know what the difference is between the stories, and I haven't played it that much. Because that's the thing. I don't remember. It? I think I only ever beat it as Leon. Did I? Can I think what her first name is? Did I even finish it as Leon? What's her first name? Claire. Claire. So I think, yeah, if you picked her, Leon turned up. Well, no, but that's it. I don't know if it's the same bit or if it's a different thing outside. I don't honestly don't remember. No, I don't know. I'm just guessing. It seems likely, though. Because I played both, like, versions in the original. Yeah. And, like, but when I bought the remake now, I only played it about half, maybe halfway in. As yeah, Leon? I think I seem to remember that we struggled a bit in the police station looking for something. <laughs> I can't remember what we were looking for, but I remember we couldn't. To be find fair, it. that wasn't actually me. That was Liam playing, if you remember. Oh uh, yeah. To be fair, though, we were helping and we didn't know either. Well, I was trying not to help too much because I don't ah. like the games to just become me sit there going, go in that room, keys on the. Well, thing, no, but like thing, you could like nudge them, them if they start getting stuck after like an hour of looking. Well, we weren't in nudge. there that long. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wouldn't you? Oh, dear. It happens a lot in Raccoon City, these outbreaks, doesn't it? You'd think they'd just stop using Raccoon City. A bit like Midsummer Murders. Oh, no, I think in Raccoon City there is one outbreak that then messes the city <laughs> up. Like, you wouldn't live in Midsummer, would you? I don't know where Miss Marple lives. She goes and, all over. Yeah, she travels for her murders, doesn't she? They don't just happen in the town she lives in. Well, it's the same with Poirot, like on the Orient Express and then... Yeah. On the Nile. He's in like He travels both. around, yeah. He's all over the world. Murder on the Nile. Yeah. What happens in that? <laughs> I taped the new um, Murder on the Orient Express. I always, get, I always forget the outcome of those mixed up. I always think the end of Orient Express is the end of... Murder on the Nile. Yeah, Murder on the Nile is that one where she's pretended to he pretended to get shot through the wall or something. Yeah, you're gonna ruin it for everyone now if they haven't seen it. But spoiler, I, there is no one who hasn't seen it who wants to see it. God, it's about fifty years old. <laughs> oh look, we're not paying attention to the. Isn't there scene. a big TV version, like a big movie version, just been made? Or is yeah. that Orient Express? That's Orient Express. It's got um, Johnny Cru- Depp in it. Oh, I was gonna say Tom Cruise, but oh, yeah, no, Don- Johnny, it's Johnny Depp's Depp. in it. Um, Thingy, what's she called? Oh, she's, she's in everything at the minute. I can't think what her name is. Uh, um, oh, Olivia something. Oh, I was going to say something completely different. But yeah, there's loads of people in it. It's the guy who's uh, Gildroy Lockhart. Oh, uh, yeah. He's in it. Um, basically, star studded cast. So I taped off the telly the other day so we can watch it. Okay. It's like two and a half hours long, which is fine. Well, it would have you to need be. To, you need to make time for that, don't you? Yeah, you know. To set aside some time. But I saw Johnny Depp was in it. I was like, "Eee, I didn't know it was that." Like, like I've been meaning, to, I've been meaning to watch the uh, the box set of Garden of Sinners that I got for my birthday. Oh I yeah. So. Each of them is like an hour, and they're like seven or eight episodes. So I'm ninety like, quid. Yeah. Not cheap. This anime lark. It's rare but valuable. He's like, oh no. Well, we were talking about it with when oh, we when the stadium was because the loon has just been like announced. For it, like going into, which is Amazon's version of the Google Stadia. I was just going to say, I saw something just happened with Stadia, I saw it was trending on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, and uh, it was quite hilariously described in the gaming magazines as the Stadia killer. <laughs> it's in the in the sense that a guy <laughs> stumbled into a room, saw a dead body, therefore he's the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I ca- I can't stop my brain going to origami killer when someone says the something killer. <laughs> Don't you? The origami killer. Yeah, but that was. That's a good calling card. That though, origami. Oh, it is. It's super cool. Uh, I don't have any bullets. I tried to kill them. I don't have any bullets. Maybe so. you can hit them with your with your gun. I think I'm best off just running. To be honest. What's that's got a name for that, hasn't it? When you smack someone with your gun. Uh. It's called something. Yeah. Isn't it? I can't think. What it's I think called. it's called a. Don't say a gun hit or something. <laughs> it's got a proper name. <laughs> it's called twatting. <laughs> You get twatted. Twatted him with my with my rocket launcher. Twat him with your with your shooter. Anyway. Rocket launchers and fire <laughs> weapons in games are notoriously shite. 
anyway, we were talking about the... Uh, it's because they always have super limited ammo, but... Because otherwise it'd be OP, though. Well, yeah. If, but also, flamethrowers, I don't like when they when you've got full ammo, because uh, mm. they they don't do enough damage per second. No. Like, a single bullet will do more than, like, a few seconds of a flamethrower. It's very specific as well, you think, flamethrowers. Flamethrowers wouldn't be. And obviously it's, it's really... fire everywhere, but it is specific. It's a bit weird. And also because it it has to be really short range because a flamethrower can't fire like a hundred meters. No, that'd be too, that'd be overkill. That. But what I was gonna say about the oh, getting yeah. getting blue res, like the big thing that people don't like about well the main thing you don't like about the Stadia was that you didn't you bought the games but you didn't own them. Yeah, that was a strange one, wasn't it's it? It's like you buy a game and oh. then. Yeah, welcome to the city of the damned. I'm yeah, gonna say probably. Uh, you buy a game and then you pay so much a month to rent it back from them. Why? Yeah, like that's yeah. Why? Who came up with that? Well, presumably they wanted to do what Net Luna seems to be doing, which is Netflix for games. But because it's Google and no one trusts that they'll won't just kill it, nobody would actually give them the rights to do that with their game. Oh. Or because you'd have to because the way Google are trustworthy, surely. No, they've killed everything. Oh. Like. I th- there is, uh, there is a website. I think it's just called "Killed by Google." Oh no, that's when, on me. No, you can just see the list of projects that they announced that this is going to be the next big thing, and then we're dead within twelve months of release if they even got released. Oh, it's like abysmal. That's mean. Let's save. Oh, Google. Uh, but yeah, it's because you don't own the content, and if and when Google eventually decides to kill the Stadia, <laughs> everything that you bought is gone. Is it not dead already? It, it's still going. They're still announcing things for it. Uh, but nobody cares. But or you functionally dead, yeah. The Luna might be a bit better, but I still have no faith in it whatsoever. Can I ask a question about that, though? What? Why? Why? Why does it exist at all? Everybody wants to be in the gaming market because it's the biggest. It's bigger than films but, and TV combined. Why? Because but, it's not... Like, I understand why you want to make the money. That's obvious, hmm. but... Why make it at all? Because it's just it's pointless. But here's the problem. A single games company doesn't make that much. The industry itself is worth more. So you yeah. want to be a big player. And when you're Amazon, you can't be like Amazon Games, who just makes an indie game every two years. True. So they buy up studios, like Google. Isn't That's what I was going to say, yeah. Why don't they just buy like studios with like good talent? But what, talented what you want is to compete with the big money guys, which is Microsoft and Sony, and yeah. to a lesser extent Nintendo, by having a console... But you can't just make a console because who the fuck's going to buy the Google Stadia console I'm not. over a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox One? I'm not going to do with that. With companies who have been doing it for 20 <laughs> years and we know do it well. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, so what you have to, you have to come up with something different and something new that's a, that's a that no one else is doing. I suppose in fairness, though, they are like they're competing against something that's so well established. Anyone that came into the market would be struggling, not just them. Well, see, the thing... The problem is that the Google Stadia is I like what we thought it was going to be initially of Netflix for games is a really good proposition because it's get Xbox Game Pass. But it's not phys- it's not practical. It's not it's like having a really good idea, but it would never yeah. work in practice. Well, see, That's I, the thing, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think anybody could ever explain to me how Xbox Game Pass is worth it. Because the only way you do streaming thing, the way you do it is you buy an equivalent number of that game. Xbox Game Pass. I thought that was quite good. It is. It's so amazing. You it's have free games and shit. No? Yeah, it is. It's impossibly good because the the library is huge. It's yeah. really, really good. It works loads. It's now available on Xbox, PC, and on iPhones. I also think not iPhones, Android phones. It's quite surprising the games that you get free on it. Like you know, every month. You yeah, get they're huge. Another free game. It's not like some some shit, is it? No. Like it's normally quite a big like. Well-known like game that's what I was going to say. It's not like little indie stuff. It's huge like titles. Sometimes like Gears of War Five went on it straight away. Gears Five. Gears Five. Come on. We're not of war anymore. We're just no. Gears. It's just Gears. Um, Nocta. Interesting doll. Are, are the keys going to correspond? To There's the our green herb. Herb. Herbs. Why do Americans say H? I don't know. I don't know why they hate the letter H herb. so much, but. That, I don't know how Xbox Game Pass makes money, but basically you have to... No, I don't. You would you assume... You though, right? Oh, yeah. But you have to buy so many copies of the game to make it worth it for the developer to put it on that service rather than just sell it themselves. Yeah. So how many copies do they think they would have sold of Gears 5 that it was worth it to have it on the streaming service instead? 
which you could cancel at any time. Hmm. And that's the thing is that they have to do that for every game that's on Game Pass. So how? Well, I thought how many was... subscriptions do they need for that to then be worth it? Well, my understanding of it was that obviously the Xbox or however they do it pay the company that make it like a like an amount, an agreed amount. Yeah. And then it's whether the game makes that or doesn't. Well, see, that's do you it. Know what it's I mean, like, I thought that's how it worked. Well, that mo- that's more or less what I was describing. That it's like we think we're going to sell. It could be a gamble, really, because it could make way more for for Xbox. Do you know what I mean? Once they've got it, yeah. Or do they pay it like a royalty? So, like every time your advert shown or something. Well, that's it. I don't know how they uh, how they organize it, but that would be the thing. Is you buy. You think we can sell 200,000 copies of this game at £50 each, that's what? Two million? Bloody hell. Um, no. I don't know, I can't do ten, maths. Ten million. Ah, it's so, even more. Right? Um, so, how, so if we're going to have it on Game Pass instead, we need at least a fraction of that that we're going to lose in sales because why would people buy the full game when it's on Game Pass? Yeah. So my, so Xbox would have to pay them like say a million to then have it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But um, so they would like cut the cut like Yeah. Meet them in the middle type thing. But I suppose the benefit of having it on there is it makes people wanna like buy the game like We haven't spoken the- about Resident Evil in about twenty minutes. Oh. Well, <laughs> come on. But yeah, go on. I was I forgot now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if someone cuts me off mid sentence, it leaves my brain. And my brain thinks I've said it and it's done. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But yeah, Resident Evil. <laughs> I was just exploring the area before I went That's in. That's gonna here, be by a jumpy way. jump. Um Yeah, you would go in there, would you? Mm, I'd go no. I wouldn't personally. Me. To be fair, they did put a sign saying keep out. Yeah. So they are trying. Like but that's the point is that Google Stadia could have been a success if it had that concept of Netflix, but it didn't. Yeah. It's buy the game and don't own it. I mean, I don't like to be mean when and people br- are coming up with a good, you know, something that potentially could have been good, and they'd obviously put some thought into it and yeah. what have you, but it's just, just and, conceded it didn't work. And bringing it back to, and also the infrastructure that you need to do the games just doesn't exist, especially in the US. But, but Resident Evil... Bringing it back to the main thing, what I was going to say about the DVDs and stuff, is because the biggest problem is that if well, Kiss Anime is dead. It died a couple of months ago, didn't it? Yeah. It's still. I think you can still get a lot of stuff on it, but um, what about when Nine Anime goes down or Funimation? Fun, well, Funimation stuff doing like take stuff off. My Hero Academia, you can only get you can't get on Crunchyroll anymore. You can only get it on Funimation. And because Funimation, Funimation is the worst it. app ever. It's awful. Um, what happens if those websites go down and then I therefore have no access to the Garden of Sinners because it's not on anything? Yeah. I want to know when Nine Anime goes down. I can still watch the thing I like. So I'm happy to pay £90 to have a physical copy of it. Yeah, I understand that. Let's combine that. 15 bullets. Right. I feel like we need to pay attention because the jumps aren't going to get me if I'm like semi-listening. Yeah. I feel like there's something in here I need to get. This is a good torch. Maybe it was the bullets. It's a good torch. It's yeah, we didn't have any bullets. You mean flashlight? No, I don't. I don't mean flashlight. I'll never mean flashlight. Yeah, the <laughs> light's on. Okay. Oh, this is the conference room, isn't it? Yeah. See, I'm For fairly the sure there's something in here that I needed to get, but I don't remember what it was. To be fair, we did need bullets. We did need bullets. That's... And we're gradually lighting up the area, which is always good. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll go say, get your torch on, bloody hell. Hmm... Do you know that's I a, was holding X. That's <laughs> one of like gaming's favourite mechanics that oh you need to push this or move this to get past. Yeah. Something attacks you while you're doing it. Because well, you can't do anything about it. Well it works. Yeah, it does. Like Cleaning in progress. <laughs> because it really because like especially in those situations where you're not in a cutscene. But per se, but you're trapped in an action. You're in the game and you're trapped doing something, so you're like, oh, I'm in a point where I can't defend myself. I'm vulnerable. <laughs> so now would be a really good Surprise! time. <laughs> so I really hope nothing attacks me. And then, of course, it does. Because Why do zombies always hide in toilets? They don't, but people who go to the toilet become, a zombie become zombies. Oh, that was asking it to do something. On that yeah, toilet. I know. There's a thing on there. Oh, 
It's a first aid spray. That's not a thing. It is. No, it isn't. It is. Magic no. sponge. <laughs> Pour wet paper towel on it. For those who don't know, the magic sponge is an old football reference. Where before we had, well, before professional soccer, if you're an American, uh, discovered medicine. They used to think that if you hurt your leg, rubbing it with a big sponge would help. Fixed every every ailment that you could possibly have. Uh, And so it was referred to as the magic sponge because how else could it possibly work? What? And anyone who went to school ever knows putting a wet paper towel on anything fixes it. Uh. We haven't got anything to open that shit. I'm not particularly able to open that right now. Open the god! Are we shouting that or someone else? Uh, they are. I can't. There's, I'm why afraid I don't they have the thing. Them in? What am I looking at? I don't know. Can we open the window? Not really. Hey, cop. Mm, maybe there's some bolt cutters somewhere. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Things that are in any horror game ever, but don't really hang about in places in real life not really it's rare <laughs> you see bolt cutters in real life yeah they may have been being q are you have you been bit because i'm not going to help you if you have oh both hands something i wonder what's yeah. going to happen here how what's going on here hang in uh, there no leon it's uh, too late bro he's being pulled from the other side would that happen uh probably not would that happen Human bodies seem really like easy to tear, fragile. Yeah, I suppose we are though. in zombie fiction. Well, not by other people. I don't know. Do you think? Okay, I'm holding my arm out right now. Grab it. I've grabbed. His pull arm. my arm off. <laughs> no, well, I can't pull your arm off. If I actually do try, it. you might lose your arm. <laughs> and then what are you going to do? Oh, look, the officer drew a map <laughs> for us. Okay, I'm going to revise this. Pull me strong enough to even move me a little bit. <laughs> to be fair, I have... You are an astonishingly damage, weak human. So um, I'm not a good example. I'd make a terrible zombie. I wouldn't be able to rip anyone apart. <laughs> okay. Do you know that you're absolutely right, though? I'm not convinced that zombie fingers and see, could bury into somebody's skull. Well, we were laughing for ages, weren't we, at The Last of Us with the moose. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Get away. I was too busy thinking about the moose. Mm, uh... We're not very good at this, are we? I was trying to use my dodge button, but I don't appear to have one. Is there not a stomp on his head action? Nope. Jesus, calm down. I feel like if you just shot him out there, nothing would have happened. I don't think it works like that. No, that's what I mean. He had to animate there to scare you. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I, mean? I thought you meant if I'd shot him earlier, I could have avoided that whole problem. No, that's what I mean. No. I, like, you physically can't. No, <laughs> that's he, what I meant. he wasn't a, an active yeah, object at the time. Real. Oh, shit. Oh, that was the window that you were looking at as well? Yes, it was. Yeah, there's no way zombies could rip open them. Ah! No, I killed you! Oh, that's bullshit. That I, was supposed to happen, though. But I killed you, you fuck. Get out of the way. We haven't got enough stuff here. We need some kind of, like, melee weapon, I feel. Yeah, we do. Um, I would never, ever use a gun in a zombie apocalypse. One, because they're not ready available in Britain. Guys, police can't carry guns. You know we what? can't have gun licenses very, very rarely. We're allowed those. And that's if you're a gentleman with lots of dogs. Isn't it? Yep. Like you can't just have one. But I'd use I'd definitely use a golf club, I think. Shh shit. Definitely a golf club. It's got range and it's like bulky on the end for a good smash of the skull, isn't it? Yeah. What would you use? Is she trying to get up or Whoa. is she dead? No, she was having one of those things. Uh, a spaz attack. Yeah. How are then? Let's be having you. Yeah. All right. Breathe. The police station is very distracting. Is the policeman dead yet or is he coming and all? I think he was not real. I think it was a cutscene thing. In all honesty. Nobody got me from behind. I know, but that's what I mean. I think it was a cutscene thing. Like to scare you. I think he's dead now. Yeah, look, there he is on the floor. Oh, yeah. See? Alright. It was a ruse. Well, I still can't get in there. What are we trying to do again? But. No. I want. Why is it. Maybe is I it... can board it up. I feel. <laughs> What was about to do? I'm super forgetting most of this game. I don't, I don't know, know what about you. I don't know what you're supposed to do. 
Ooh. I never really liked Dario Two though. If I'm honest, like it's a it's good. It's one of them that I appreciate more than I like. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like, but that goes for a lot of horror games. Like I'm not big into horror, as you know. No, not survival horror. Like I just, um, it's very repetitive as a genre, isn't it? And these are like the best they are. Like are the remakes of one uh, two. The seven's good. With the uh, bug people. Oh, yeah. All the Resident Evil so far have been amazing. I'm really looking forward to Village. Um, yeah, definitely going to play that, to be fair. There he is. Oh, no. It's a different one. <laughs> I think the uh, zombie animation, this is quite good, to be fair. Oh, it is. It's, and it's dark enough. They're strong enough that they're actually a threat. Yeah. They're scary. Because um, it's very easy for zombie survival to become, like, funny. <laughs> wooden boards there we go yeah like world war z uh, that's just ridiculous not even world war z i was gonna say like uh dead rising i don't know that one uh it's the game where you run around you can, oh, make you can ride a little bike and shit yeah and you yeah. can you can combine um a set of like paddles with a chainsaw to create a a dual wheel like no that's stupid. a stick with a chainsaw on either end and saw through them <laughs> you can combine um a flashlight with some jewels to create a lightsaber. No, oh, that's silly. Um, <laughs> that's just silly, isn't it? It is silly. That looks crap. That's not going to stop anything. It will stop a zombie. I'm not sure it will. Oh, apparently zombies fall apart when you touch them. So, But they can also rip open humans. That'll hold them. No, it won't. That's yeah, exactly what we're saying. It will hold them perfectly. It will not. Um, so I'm look. not sure what we're supposed to be doing here. I don't feel like we've been paying enough attention. So I don't think I can actually go anywhere now. That's the chain door. That's into the watchman's room, which is barred. There's a break room there, though. Uh, there's the fuse box. Have I got a fuse? I don't think I've got a fuse, have I? No. We've got some spray and some herbs. And a key that we don't know what it's for. Uh, the key is for the storage room in the gas station. So I can actually discard that. Oh, um, does it not use it up, if you know what I mean? No, it's you still keep it. You just, it's that's actually the kind of the thing that's weird about Resident Evil is it's kind of like Dark Souls. It's more resource management than it is combat. Oh, I it's hate like, that. I hate that. Have you got the key? Yes. There's the fuse box. That's right? the that's a lot of the game. Um, find a fuse. Okay. We'll I that. need to find a fuse, but there was no fuse in here, was there? No, and I feel like it'd be quite obvious. <sighs> I can't get into small. the east office because it's chained. What about observation and room? How do you get in there? The observation room. Oh, I'd need to go through there, which is from the stairs. How do we... Is there any stairs anywhere? Well, there's stairs in here. There's this gold goddess statue that I need the things for. There's the taped door, mm. which you can't get. There's my typewriter and my item box. Is um, there a fuse in the main hall in a drawer? I really feel like I'm missing something from here, but I don't remember what. I don't think it's... Oh, oh for God's <laughs> sake. It's because everything's blocked off. They can't make new enemies, so they just have to pretend that he got up. Yeah. Well, that's also the thing, is that the durability of Resident Evil zombies is uh, changes depending on the time. I feel like the fuse is going to be in a draw. That's my guess. I can't remember. Oh. Yep, he's you back. again. He's back up as well. You know, it's... Very hardy, these zombies. Fuck, I'm fucking it up. Stop fucking it up! Okay, well, I'm going... Um, I don't have any bullets left again. Yeah, I know. That was kind of a waste for me, I will admit. <laughs> I'll admit that was terrible. Uh, I can't get in the chain door. Oh, come on. Is there something in the office? Let's check in the drawers. There's definitely not. <gasps> oh, the cop again! Oh, he definitely killed him! Yeah. No, I'm not having it. I can't get through there because the zombies were there. Um, no. See, that was pretend. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Should we go back to the main hall? Yeah, we got the notebook. Maybe that was what we needed. I reckon that there might be something in the main hall. So, like, you have to work your way around this bit, see what you need to find, and then go back and get it. Well, much like... Um, oh, God. <sighs> squeeze Ooh. through. Oh no! They've got me. Oh, someone's helping us. It's okay. I wonder who it's it Chris. Be. Mm. Smash his head. Yeah, we did have to come back here then. Yeah. That, this is a good scene, I think. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, no, it's some guy. Oh, oh, all right. He doesn't look up. 
Looks like it's been shot. Yeah. This is Marvin. Marvin Brannock. If it's not a bite, though, he should. He might survive. Who knows? Yeah. See, Leon's all shook up. All shook up. We were talking about Elvis the other day. Me, <laughs> me and my girlfriend. Um, I was reminded of, of Fallout New Vegas because I played it the other week. Yeah. Um, I forgot about the stupid jokes with the kings. Are you familiar with them? I don't know. I know of them, but I don't know it that well. The Kings is a group in Freeside, which is the like uh, slum area outside New Vegas, who run the like they're the gang that run the place, um, and they're based on Elvis because they're based in an Elvis impersonation school. Oh, so they all yeah. base themselves on the King, whoever he was in history. And if you listen to the radio, it comes up with like announcements of things that are happening in the world. Yeah, and it quite often goes like to something in Freeside of someone murdered. Um, it says one of the a member of the King's gang have been involved in an incident with uh, someone raiders. Yeah. Uh, the King, in a statement, has described his associate to be all shook up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Someone has also stolen huge resources from Freeside. Lots of food have gone missing, possibly by the NCR who the king has since described as the devil in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And I said some of them like that, and every time it made me chuckle. Because <laughs> I'd completely forgot it existed. <laughs> hey, it's good they can have a laugh out in the, an apocalypse, isn't uh, it? Good old Obsidian, not Bethesda. <laughs> Definitely not Bethesda. But now your sister's under Xbox. So let's get New Vegas 2, shall we, please? Yeah, let's just ignore that one you made that was bad. We'll just pretend you didn't do it. Combat knife. Perfect. That's more what we So want. I think we did have to come back here. Yeah, there we go. Find a way to get underground. That's where we want to be, really, isn't it? Underground. No, but I don't think he looks like Leon. He is Leon. I don't think he looks like him. He is Leon. His hair's like Leon. I don't think his face is like Leon. Why would a police station have a statue when you have to put things in it to make it do something? Why would that exist? I don't understand. <laughs> it is uh, it's very, very odd. It is, <laughs> like, like it, I would do it if I had a mansion and I was a millionaire. Yeah. But because I'm bored and it's funny. Well, it happens in, like, definitely they cry as well. Like, not in, why? Not in the later ones where it makes more sense, but in, like, the first ones, it's always just find some shit to put into a thing. Yeah. Like, find the trident to put into the wall to make the secret door like why i mean you would do it wouldn't you if you were really rich and you just had more money than sense and more time on your hands than anything you would do something like that well yeah it would be fun but but you wouldn't do it in a police station in, like, <laughs> i need to see the chief inspector no okay sense. can you find my three medallions <laughs> <laughs> so that i can unlock open the doorway to his office no that's what i mean imagine if you had to do that every single day to get in your office yeah <laughs> it's like where where's someone put my medallions I don't know find them people mourn at <laughs> us at work as well because we sometimes take a few days to respond to an email when we've got lots like imagine going to a police station I want to speak to <laughs> did you bring the medallions have you located the medallions of the three goddesses <laughs> no no okay well, then you can't I mean. <laughs> physically can't open the door then I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, exactly why is that a thing <laughs> because it's cool and resident it's funny. evil why <laughs> and it's dumb and it's great and that's resident evil yeah that's true so let's leave it there shall we <laughs> that's a good point to end we'll see you later guys bye <laughs>